Now, answer to question number 10, part A. When beryllium is bombarded by alpha particle, then neutral radiation is observed. And this was studied by Chadwick in 1932. And this neutral radiation, it was capable of knocking out protons from the lighter nuclei, such as helium, nitrogen, and carbon. At this point of time, the only neutral particle known was photon. And, we, and if we consider this to be photon and apply conservation of energy and momentum, then it turns out the energy of this neutral radiation should be very, very high, which was contrary to the experimental value of energy obtained through the experiment. That's what we see that the theoretical value of the energy of the neutral particle is much higher than the experimentally observed value. And this controversy, this puzzle was solved by Chadwick by considering the existence of a new neutral particle called as neutron. And the mass of this neutral particle was slightly heavier than that of the proton. Now let's come to the B part of the question. In this problem, we are supposed to explain two nuclei can have the same radius still with different number of protons and neutrons. Yes, it is very much possible. I will give you the example. Consider tritium nuclei and the isotope of helium nuclei. As mass number of both the nuclei are same, and hence the nuclear radii got to be the same. According to the relation, R is equals to R naught, A raised to the power one third. If you look at the tritium nuclei, it has one proton and two neutrons and this isotope of helium, it has two protons and one neutron and hence two different nuclei having different number of protons and neutrons can have the same nuclear radii. Thank you.